need to use our uh, Denon remote to do this. That makes sense. So we could switch to French, but we want English. So. Okay, so persistent next. Let's see. Yeah, we got all that stuff. Connecting your speakers, okay. Your speakers in the proper position, and we did that already. Do you have more than nine speakers? No, we have nine speakers. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, I don't have to do that because I made my cables up ahead of time. Yep. Plugged them all in. Yep. I connected the right front speaker. Yes. The left front. Do you have a center speaker? Yes, I do. Did that. Do you have surround speakers? Yes. So I have the right surround hooked up, left surround. Do you have back surrounds? Yes. I have two back surrounds. So the left, the right, and left back surrounds. Yeah. Now the height speakers. All right. So I have two height speakers in the front. So I have uh, front height speakers. Yep. Oops. TV went into. Went into. There we go. Okay, I did that. Did that. Do you have a subwoofer? Yes. I have one subwoofer. I plug it into subwoofer one. Yep. So front, center, one subwoofer. Surround, surround back, front height, yep. Now they're connected correctly, that's what I'm waiting for, yeah. So your subwoofer is powered on, I think it is, I better double check. Let's double check here. Yep, it's got a green light on the back, so that's good. Yep, the left front speaker is working. Center speaker is working. The right speaker is working. This is fun. <laughs> yep, right surround is working. Surround back is working. Surround back left is working. Left surround is working. Right height is working. Subwoofer's working. Cool. In about 15 minutes, you can have a new sound the way it should. Great. All right, we're going to finish this later. So we, at least we got started. So we'll, we'll do this later. Okay, we're back to do the speaker calibration. So the first step is to attach the Odyssey microphone that comes with the system to a tripod. They, they give you a cardboard tripod, but I don't know if that, that would be kind of kind of uh, annoying to use, I think, somebody's regular tripod. And I did this once before with the old receiver, but it's been eight years, so I'm a little rusty. Uh, but so the first thing is to put on the tripod, and then let's do the next step. Let me switch this around. Plug it into the speaker connection on the front. The microphone connector, rather. Alright, it looks like we detected that. That's important. That's, that's nice. So let's get back up here. Okay, 
to that. Some of his plugin turned on yet. Eight different positions in your room, okay. Point the microphone toward the ceiling and adjust the height. Adjust the height to match the ear level of the listener sitting so in the main seating position. 20 inches from the back wall. Yeah, that should be that shouldn't be a problem. Alright, so I'll set that up and then we'll try it. Alright, the main seating position is the center spot on the main couch. So that's where I've got the uh, microphone set up. And then we'll hit next. And it's supposed to be at least 20 inches from the back wall, which it definitely is. Alright, so it's going to do a background noise test. Well, it's, it's going to, you need to be quiet right now, so I'm going to turn the fan off. Alright, so I closed the windows and turned the house fan off because it's kind of hot here. So we need to be quiet, so we'll just be quiet and we'll do the next test. To get out of the way too. All right, so now it says begin test. So we'll try it. I'm low. I'm out of the way of the center speaker. So so if it's too high. So I need to turn the volume down. Let's see. Interactively adjusted. Okay, that's what I want to do. Okay, so it's too high. Turn it down. A little bit too high. Up is too low now, okay. <laughs> That's not looks good. Okay, still this Microphone is still at the main seating position, so continue. All right, great, you found everything. Looks like it calibrated okay. Let's see what's next. Second seating position. Okay, it should be no more than two feet away from the first seating position. Okay, so the second seating position is gonna be on the right side over there. This is the second seating position, so we'll come back around and see. What happens next? Probably the same sounds are gonna, the whoop 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 sounds are gonna come out.
All right, so that's the second seating position. Now we're going to go for the third seating position. That'll be on the other side of the couch. All right, there's the third seating position on that side of the couch. So we'll swing back around and we'll start the next test. So it's going to be more whoop, 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 I'm sure. All right, that's, so that's it for that test. So I guess we could do the other two seating positions over here. It says it's supposed to be no more than two feet away from the first position, which it really isn't. It's going to be about uh, six feet away. So I think we'll just say complete and um, figure that the people, if there's anybody sitting on the side couch over here, they'll just be getting, you know, reasonably good sound, but we're not going to optimize for it. So we'll just say complete. Let's see what happens next. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas, and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming. And if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out, and keep looking up.